Hello everyone. This is Keith K detecting the bird. Uh, yesterday I had a very very nice find at one of my favorite parks. So of course it quit raining um, after about 12 hours of rain, and I came back to that park again today. Um, I got a little signal here, and uh, lo and behold, I see some silver somewhere down there. See if we can find it. The little there it is, right there. Let's back off a little bit so it won't be so. And I'm going to go ahead and reach in there, see what that is. Um, there it is here, and it uh, it's just a ring. So <laughs> where I thought, I'm sorry. Where I thought that I had a uh, silver coin turns out to be just a ring or a small little, I think it might even be a silver ring, I don't know. Um, I'll have to clean this up and, and get back to you, but uh, all I saw was, <laughs> was a circle, and I thought I had a dime. I mean, if you look at that circle it looks pretty good so let me uh let me see what uh we can find and i'll get back to you okay i'm on my last dig of the evening i'm on my way out of the park and i get a signal that uh was a little bit confusing so i get out this clad dime and uh okay so i go back and i get another signal and a little bit deeper than the clad dime is uh this knife so um uh, hey always check the hole i guess glad to have it and uh i'm on my way home detecting the berg signing out hello everybody this is keith k detecting the berg um been in a park today i'm out here with digging pa uh fellow that I ran into about a year ago and uh, we're getting back together for a hunt came uh, onto this park and been digging a lot of signals but getting a lot of junk but finally uh, here we go we we got uh, <laughs> I always dig the low tones I'm telling you you got to dig the low tones and uh, when you dig the low tones good things can happen to you um, I'm not doing pretty good <laughs> on the focus of that coin, but uh, it's a buffalo nickel, and I like buffaloes. Uh, try to get it in here for you, but um, very hard to see dates on them, uh, and um, you can see all the pinta on this particular nickel. So I'll try to clean it up later on and uh, show it to you on film. Uh, Keith K, stay tuned. Okay, after a few hours of hunting, like four or five, we're back at the uh, truck riding, wrapping up this day, and it wasn't the greatest of days, but it wasn't the worst of days. Hunting buddy here, detecting, uh, I'm sorry, this is digging PA. He scored a rosy, and that's good. And then he got a whole bunch of clad, a set of keys, a lot of dirty coins. Me, I didn't do. <laughs> I didn't do anywhere near as good as him. I, of course, I show my junk. I don't know how many times he bent over, but there's how there's how many times I bent over for junk, and then uh, just a few coins. But in that coin is uh, my Indian, my uh, my nickel, buffalo. buffalo. That's it. It's my buffalo nickel. So I'll get a date on that, and that'll wrap it up. But. All in all, not too bad a day. Thanks for watching. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> this is uh, Keith K. Detecting the Berg. Back from the hunt today. Uh, spent some quality time with Diggin' PA. And um, we didn't have much to uh, show for it, but uh, I do have a, an earlier clip on this uh, Indian nickel. Uh, I'm sorry, the buffalo nickel. I keep calling it an Indian, but and it's an Indian face. And um, 
when Gig and PA looked at it, he said, uh, looks like you got yourself an old one there. We couldn't see the date then. I don't know how he knows that, but uh, uh, maybe there is some differences in, in year, later years, but this turned out to be a 1914. Um, I don't know that it's coming through, but uh, you could put a magnifying glass and see it, uh, that it is a 1914. Um, that's the second year of the Buffalo, or the, yeah, the second year of the Buffalo Nickel. I'm glad to have it. I'm glad you're watching uh, my channel, and uh, thanks for watching.